Hi everyone, John here and welcome to another of my Toon Boom Harmony animation tutorials. This is the third in a new series that I'm doing uh, where we are creating and rigging a minion from scratch. Um, in the first video I drew the minion, in the second video I coloured the minion and in today's video I'm going to be breaking him down ready for rigging. Um, first of all a massive thank you for watching the first two videos in the series and for all your comments and messages. I've been, I, I really appreciate them and hopefully I've answered all your questions. Um, obviously if you have any more please do send them over, I'd love to hear your feedback and I try and answer as many of the comments as possible. Um, so today, like I said, we are going to be breaking our minion down. Uh, in this kind of 2D puppet style animation it's really important to, to break down your character as much as possible. Um, so if you've got a human character for example, try and get the ears and the nose and the eyes and the eyebrows and the mouth, as many pieces as possible onto separate layers. With our minion, for example, if I was going to go really extreme, um, I could take every strand of hair and put those onto separate layers with their own deform on them so that you can control the bounce of every single piece of hair. I think for this rig, I'll just do each side of the hair as a separate layer just for speed. Um, but you could go really, really detailed, and I would recommend on your character that you do as much as possible. Um, the only thing with this video is it will be really repetitive because the uh, breaking down process is basically the same thing over and over and over again. So I'll show you a few times and then I'll speed up the section as I do it, which will be about 15 minutes or so of my of, of real time. And then we'll go through the different layers and clean them up and I'll show you what I've done. Um, so to break down your character, you have to um, find the drawing, so in a, an in-camera view, find your cutter tool. And what we're going to do is, over here on the tool properties, make sure that you have apply to line and color art selected. Because at the moment we've got uh, the line art on the line art layer and the color art on the color art layer. If you don't select that, it will only cut the line art rather than the color as well. And we want both onto the new layer. Um, so make sure that's turned on. And then basically, you select the section you want. Now don't worry about getting it perfect, just roughly select the area you want. So let's say the hand. And then we're going to go to Edit, and then Create Drawing from Drawing Selection, or Apple 8 if you're a Mac user. Do that, and a little window pops up. Um, so here we name our piece. So we'll start with his name, which in this case will just be called Minion. And then you want to say which side of the body it is. Now you could put R or L for left, right or left. Um, I've always put one or two, so in this case the left hand side of the screen is number one for me. So I put one and then hand. Uh, the cut artwork from source button basically means if you select that it will take and remove that piece you've selected and put it onto the new layer, getting rid of the original, um, getting it rid of it off of the original layer. That can be helpful sometimes, but I like to keep my original drawing in case I make a mistake. So I don't normally select that unless, unless I really, really want to for some reason. And then click OK, and you'll see down here We've got another layer created with just the hand on. If I go to the drawing layer, you'll see um, that it's just the hand now. And like, and like I said, we'll come back and clean it up later. So let's go back to our drawing layer, and we'll do the other hand for now. So using the cutter tool, select the hand, do your um, Apple 8, and then just change that to a, to a different name, in this case number 2 hand. Then select on your, your main layer again, and then we're going to take the arm now, for example, and change that back to number one, and then arm. Okay, back to min, back to our minion layer where the main drawing is. Select the arm there. Arm number two. Um, right. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down now. For example, I'm going to create a layer, a separate layer for the strap of his goggles. One for his goggles, one for his eye, one for his mouth, um, and I'll show you when I'm done. So bear with me.
Right then, so I have now broken him down. Um, like I said, into lots of pieces. I think there's over 20 layers at the moment. And this is quite a, a basic rig as well. Um, I will do the eyes and the mouth and stuff on more layers later. But I like to kind of break down the basic character first and get that rigged and then add all the extra details later. Um, so let's just explain what I've done. So, like, so with this hair, I've given the hair two sections rather than individual ones. So that the, this part here is on one layer, this is on another layer. I've put the eye white on one layer called eye and then the pupil on another layer. And then I've got the goggles on a separate layer and the straps, the either side of the straps on, a, on, a, on another layer as well. I'll explain why later. For his mouth, I've added his straps on his um, uh, overalls onto individual layers, and his um, overalls will be part of his body layer. That's a bit of a test. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, but I'm just hoping it will. I've uh, put the straps on separate layers because the arms need to go underneath. So I'm hoping it's a kind of a guess, really, but I'm hoping that will work when the rig happens. Obviously, his hands, legs, and feet obviously are all on separate layers as well. And um, so now we've done that, we need to do the cleanup. Um, of each piece. So for that we go to the drawing layer and we'll start at the top of our list. Um, again I'll probably speed this up eventually just to, but I'll kind of show you the first few. Um, so this is the hand layer so we don't obviously need this bit so we'll just select that and get rid of it and then we'll work our way down our list just getting rid of the bits that we don't need. Now okay the arm layer for example for this we need to get rid of all the extra bits but what we do need is to I'll get rid of the colour as well, is obviously extend it now because we need it to be longer or go further into the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn that off for a second just so I can see the end of the line. Um, make sure we're on the line layer. And I'm just going to go in first of all into the pencil editor and then change the start and the end to round because that's a bit weirdly pointy. That one, that one should be okay. And then again turn our light table back on. Going back into the contour editor, I'm just going to simply pull these out a bit. So they're the same, so the arm doesn't change the shape, but it just makes them a bit longer. Same with this with the wrist and the hand. And then I'm going to take my line, find the right colour, which is skin line, turn on my button with the K. Thing, and then turn my snap on as well bring that down and just join those up like so now I'm going to click on the little uh, sort of mattress button as I like to call it that will send an image of that to the color art layer we can go there and fill that back in again so turn off our light box you'll see the arm now is ready to go so that's good so we need to do this exactly the same with the second arm so I'll speed this bit up Okay, so that's our second arm done. Uh, so I'll turn it off again, and then we'll go down and continue just cleaning up the different sections. So this is the strap, so we'll just get rid of all the extra bits. So I will keep going until I find something that I think is important to tell you. So with the mouth, you might think, why am I keeping this yellow bit? Um, well, basically it will be a mask for later on and uh, when I do my sort of more advanced mouth um, tutorial video, which will probably be about two or three videos time. Um, so I'll keep that in there for now. It probably will change shape, but for now I'll keep it as it is. And then going on to the next one, which is the goggle strap. Now, you might think again, why am I doing this? But hopefully it will become clear later. But basically I'm going to fill in the rest of the strap, even though that even wouldn't exist in real life. The idea is, is that if I did want to do a slight head turn, I could move the goggles along the strap and the strap will appear from underneath. That way it will save me having to redraw bits and bobs as I go along. So all I'm going to do is delete all these extra bits, even the colour maybe as well. I'm going to take my polyline tool, find the strap colour, and then I'm going to just connect up the dots as such and fill this in. Just roughly Again, it's, it is kind of rough, just to get an idea of what it might look like. And then I'm going to fill that in with the strap. 
like that. So now if you, if you went to the camera view, it's going to look a bit weird, like, like he's wearing some sort of mask over his eyes. But don't worry, we'll get to that later. Um, and then the goggles, we're going to get rid of absolutely everything apart from the grey bit. So we'll get rid of all of this can go. All the strap can go now. So we're just left with just the goggles. The pupils, again, we just want to get rid of that. I could possibly take the little shine off of his eye and put it onto a separate layer again. And then if you're moving your character around, you can move that in um, with, along, along with your light source. For this video, I'll just keep it on there for now, but you could do if you wanted to. Uh, again, with the eye, what we actually want is everything apart from the white, which is obviously hard to see in this view. But we'll just get rid of everything else. What I might actually do is get rid of this for a second, fill it white, and then get rid of that rim. So that's just a white now. So what is left to do? Okay, so the hair, but like I said, you could do it all the ones individually. But I'm not going to do that for this tu this tutorial because it'll just take too long, and you know you can do it if you want to. Um, basically, go through and delete all the bits you don't need, and that will be that hair. Again, with this one, we'll just do exactly the same. Get all the extra lines we don't need. Let's just put something there as well. We don't really need that. Just check that hair again. Yeah, there's one, there's a little line, I think it's the little part of the body hiding there it is, we'll get rid of that, we won't need that one okay now we're down to the feet and the legs so this is the foot, so we'll get rid of everything that's not the foot and this is the leg again we're going to need to oh, wrong one We're going to, to extend this again, which will mean that we're going to have to recolor the leg because obviously the texture is in there that's not going to come with it. So we'll just extend this out a bit. Let's turn on our right. So and we'll have to just re-texture the leg. So we'll put it onto the color art layer. We'll find our texture, which is here, and fill it. And then using our um, edit gradient and texture button again, we'll just expand this out so that it looks roughly like what it did last time. Getting it closer to the other leg as well. That was pretty good. Again, so then we'll go back to our line art layer. So that's that one done. Onto this leg. No, it's my foot. And then finally, our last leg. So hopefully, you can see that you know, it does take a, it, it does take a while. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe we could do that. Let's just select that whole lot there. Look and drag it up. Well, hey, that will do. And we'll just pull it out. That's a bit saves me a bit of time at home to re-texture it. Another little trick learned. So you always learn something new. Let's bring that down to match the other one, actually. Okay. So now we have our character pretty much broken down. Now, obviously, things are all in the wrong order. They're all over the place. But that gives us a completely broken down character. But basically, now that we've broken it down, we can go in and using our transform tool, and we can select all the different parts of the body. Now I've got mine the harmony set up so that all the movement goes onto a peg. So that's why I can't select this for example and move it anywhere. Because I'm not allowed to the way I've set up my harmony. Uh, so basically I have to create a peg for every single piece of body before I can move it. So for just for example this hand here. If I, if I, if I add it to a peg I can now move that hand around. Now let's get rid of the other layer. Oh, I, 
Oh, there we go. I didn't create a body layer. That's a big, a, 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 a big mistake. So let's let's go back and get rid of that peg layer. So if I turn my minion off, you can see that I haven't got a whole body. So I need to do that. So I was quickly going to do that quickly before I go. should have a whole minion which is really good so there we go he's all broken down now ready for the next video in which we'll start to rig him up um, and get him ready for animation there's still lots to, of work to go before we get to animation but we're getting there slowly so I, I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching it's been a bit of a, a slog today with different computer issues but we're there so we're on to the next one which will be rigging thanks for watching and please subscribe and please comment. Thanks. Oh, my phone again. Ugh, always does that. Bye for now.